All eyes on the end of Title 42 as it is set to sunset here in just a couple hours. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Wale Aliou. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected across our county this weekend for the big events. We begin with my co-anchor, Kimberly Hunt, where the turf meets the surf. Hi, Kimberly. Just a short time ago, President Biden made a rare address from the Oval Office. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. I am Wale Aliou. The Fiscal Responsibility Act is the result of months of back and forth between Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. It lifts the debt ceiling through January 1st, 2025. A second plane carrying migrants arrived in Sacramento today, just days after more than a dozen migrants from South America were flown on a chartered jet and dropped off in front of a Catholic church. Church. As ABC's Melissa Don reports, officials believe Florida's governor coordinated the travel. Daniel here is the captain here at Seaforth Boat Rentals. We went and borrowed a boat here just to take it out here. We've got some sea lions and some uh, seagulls and a bunch of beautiful just scenery out here. I'm loving this view and the weather, as you mentioned, is a little cooler, but it's all right. These folks say it's still going to be packed this weekend. Attention, attention, Barbie fans. The new Barbie movie, you probably already know this, hits theaters on Friday, and the stars aren't the only ones who can earn some cash from the doll's big comeback. Consumer reporter John Matteris has what you need to know if you're planning to sell your old Barbies or add to your own collection. A young man from Vista made a tough decision to amputate his leg nearly 10 years ago when he was in middle school. But he says that did not slow down his future. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill shows us why he says it propelled him into a career that will change so many lives. The picture perfect weather leading to a busy fourth by the water and at our airports. We have team coverage tonight. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco starts us off live in Mission Beach. If you are willing to brave the crowds, the beaches are the place to be this 4th of July. ABC 10 News weathercaster Moses Small joins us. It looked really nice in the uh, shot right behind Rachel there, Moses. Here is that border wall right behind me. Uh, some new numbers we got tonight saying that there are more than 1,900 people on the other side of this fence here in San Diego County. Title 42 expires at 8.59 local time after three years. It allowed asylum seekers to be expelled for public health reasons. Right now, I want to bring in ABC 10 News reporter Austin Gravish. Austin, like myself, you have been out here much of this week, and you're seeing just the sad conditions some of these people are in. And a lot of desperate faces. People are being asked by CBP to use the CBP One app in order to be able to go through the asylum process. But as we've been mentioning, their phones are dead. They can't get a charge on their phone. That's why they're begging us, the media who's here at the border, to help them charge their phones. Not only that, but they're also having glitches on the app. For more on that, let's get to ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen.